the apparent, I say apparent because the police have not at any time spoken formally to Mr Cummings about it and, and no um, steps have been taken in relation to the allegation, but the apparent breach of the rules by him was extremely damaging, was it not? Yes. It was obvious to you and everybody else in Downing Street how important observance of the rules was. Setting an example was of prime importance. Yes. <coughs> On the 20th of May, so around this time, you sent an email about how nice it would be to make the most of this lovely weather and have some socially distanced drinks in the garden this evening. Bring your own booze. I don't intend to ask you whether you received a fixed penalty notice. You may or may not have done, and it's not fair to invite you to say whether you did. And it forms no part of this inquiry to rule on or determine liability, civilly or criminally. But do you accept that the sending of that email and the events which ensued were again deeply damaging to trust in the government and damaging to public compliance? Well, I would, I mean, I think I would first like to say how, um, how deeply sorry I am uh, for my part uh, in those events uh, and for uh, the email uh, message which went out that day. And I'd like to apologise unreservedly uh, to the families of the, all those who suffered during COVID uh, for all the distress caused. Um, in terms of the, uh, the coverage of this event in, in the garden, it actually broke into the news about 15 months later. So while I, I, I totally accept, A, the, uh, I was totally wrong uh, in the way I, um, uh, I um, sent the email around and for the event, uh, I think the impact on public um, confidence, although obviously now in terms of public confidence more generally it has a serious impact, in terms of the pandemic at that time uh, it, 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 was less, it, was, it had, had less impact. Mr Reynolds, the news broke of these goings on in Downing Street in December 2021 mm. whilst we were still in the middle of the pandemic, mm. were we not? Yes. Right. And then on the 12th of June you sent messages by WhatsApp to Lee Kane. Can we have 265621? In the middle of the page, Lee Kane, I'm not sure it works at all, to be honest, which would be a shame. I don't see how we can have some kind of party, though. Martin Reynolds, so you're saying nothing for her. I think it's your decision, my friend, not mine. But it obviously comes with rather substantial comms risks. And then later, at the end of June, there are further WhatsApps in relation to another event in the garden. So the first matter, the first issue, which I've put to you, which is the bring your own booze event in the garden, was not a solitary event, was it? No. No. And I apologise unreservedly again for these, uh, these events. And you realise, of course, that for the public whose loved ones were dying in their droves, this caused incredible offence and added to their immeasurable pain. Yes. And as I say, I'm deeply sorry for that. I have no further questions. I don't think there are any Rule 10 questions. My lady, and maybe there is one area that I have failed to explore in relation to which we've indicated that CTI would ask a question. Did Mr Reynolds, the Prime Minister, make disparaging remarks about the existence or severity of long COVID, to your understanding, to your knowledge? I'm afraid I can't remember or recall. Those are all the questions. Then.